Dallas Fire Rescue has recently obtained the new MedSource non-contact infrared body thermometer. This thermometer is to be used exclusively for screening members at the fire station. It is not intended to be placed on frontline apparatus for patient assessment. The thermometer is approximately five and a half inches long with a pistol grip design. It has a scan button or trigger, an LCD display, and a set button, memo button, and mode button on the right side. It is powered by two AAA batteries which are installed at the base of the handle. To install the batteries, simply press and slide the battery cover forward, insert the batteries, and secure the battery cover. Replacement batteries can be ordered through clothing and supply. To use the thermometer, simply align the thermometer with the middle of the forehead approximately 1 to 5 centimeters or 2 inches from the skin. If you get a reading of low while taking the temperature, you are probably too far. Once you activate the on switch, you should get a reading within a few seconds. If for some reason the temperature is not obtainable on the forehead, you can attempt to measure the temperature behind the ear. The thermometer must still be within 1 to 5 centimeters or 2 inches of the member's skin. Once the temperature has been obtained, it will be displayed on the LCD screen on the back of the thermometer. The backlight will display one of three colors depending on the individual's temperature. If the temperature is below 99 degrees Fahrenheit, the display will illuminate green, indicating the thermometer is ready for the next reading. If the temperature is above 99 degrees but below 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, the display will illuminate yellow, indicating a slight fever. If the display illuminates red, it will indicate that the member's temperature is above 100.6 degrees Fahrenheit. As mentioned before, there are three buttons on the right side of the thermometer. The set button, the memo button, and the mode button. The set button allows you to do several things. The only one you should be concerned with is the F1 set. This allows you to toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit. If for some reason you find your thermometer is set to Celsius, press and hold the set button for approximately four seconds. The display will read unit and you can then toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit by pressing the memo button. Once Fahrenheit is selected, simply press the trigger or on button and you will return to the operational mode. Pressing the memo button will allow you to read the past temperatures. The thermometer does store the last 50 temperatures that have been recorded, and to clear the memory, simply press and hold the memo button for approximately five seconds. You will hear one long beep, and the memory will then be cleared. Not only is the thermometer capable of measuring body temperature, it can also read the temperatures on surfaces. This is where the mode button comes in. This button allows you to toggle between body temperatures and surface temperatures. This is indicated by body or surface in the top left corner of the LCD screen. Temperatures will not read accurately if the thermometer is in surface mode. So if your readings are unusually low or the individual appears feverish but the readings are normal, make sure that you are not in surface mode. Simply press the mode button until the LCD screen reads body. The lens is very delicate and the thermometer must be stored in a location where it is protected from dirt and damage. To clean the device, use a clean soft cloth to wipe down the surface and LCD screen. Do not use any solvents or immerse the device into water or other clear liquids as the thermometer is not waterproof. If it does need to be decontaminated, simply spray the cloth with a DFR approved disinfectant and gently wipe the unit down. As a reminder, this thermometer is intended strictly for use at the fire station during medical screenings of members of Dallas Fire Rescue. It is not intended to be placed on frontline apparatus for use during patient assessment. Thank you for your time, and remember, be safe, be smart, and never stop learning.